My analysis of a projected battle against the gigantic orbital frame is as follows. We do not have an effective means of defense against the energy weapons of the enemy. I recommend that we do not approach the orbital frame until we have found a solution. Any good tactics in your database? Presently, Jehuti is not installed with anything beyond the minimum set of system programs. There should be additional function modules. Let us search for unobtained function modules. We have received an SOS from Lock D-07. A squadron of raptors are attacking the colony shaft. If the colony shaft is destroyed, it will cause major damage to the colony itself. No! Leo, we've got to go and help them. Let me indicate Block D-07 with a marker. So, this is the final SOS mission of the game. Um, it's probably one of the easier ones, I guess, as far as um, saving all the people, at least. the squadron approaching the colony shaft. So this is the final SOS mission. Instead of protecting any people, uh, we have to protect the legs of the colony shaft. Um, this is easier, in my opinion, than any of the other SOS missions, because the legs of the colony shaft actually have health. So a single shot from a, mum a mummy head isn't going to blow it up like the buildings. Um, I did kind of blow up a leg with the first attack though, whoops. Oh well. Also all the enemies here are pretty weak, I don't think a single one of them goes over uh, level 3. And aside from this video having the final SOS mission, this is also the video with the final stretch of key hunting, thank the lord. Um, after this it's the end game, and the end game is just a stretch of new areas um, and some new objectives to complete in s other than just uh, finding keys. Also, here's that sub-weapon we got last video. Uh, it fires really slow-moving projectiles at stuff, but uh, they do a decent amount of damage and they home in on enemies. Uh, they can even like circle around and hit enemies from behind. So it's not super good, but it's alright. It does a decent amount of damage at least. It only takes like two shots to blow up a raptor with it. Well a level 2 raptor, but still, it's way stronger than most of the other sub-weapons in this game. Although well, sometimes the projectiles do just circle around an enemy and don't hit them at all. It's kind of useless. We have shot down the enemy. Mission accomplished. I will report damage to neighboring areas from this battle. There are a few damaged buildings. A few were injured or killed. The attack on the colony shaft has ceased. Risk has been avoided for now. Well done, Leo! Phew! It's saved! So now we need to find several keys. But first of all, there are two maps that have invisible enemies, and we can't attack invisible enemies because, well... We can only see invisible enemies when we, we were piloting that raptor, so we have to go back to where the raptor where we left the raptor and kill it. There isn't, uh, too many hints about that. Also, gotta go back here and get part of a password, and then you have to go to another map, and then you have to get a password. But enough about passwords, let's just get the damn thing we need. We have obtained the program. We have obtained a decoy device driver. What's a decoy? It is a function which makes a temporary electronic vision of Jehuti. It enables us to escape from many enemies using sensors. That means we can escape from that giant enemy we saw? I am not certain, but we may be able to fight against it. All right, let's try. So all this work was to get a sub-weapon. But wait, there's no ammo. You have to blow up a whole lot of invisible porters in the map in order to get ammo. We have obtained the item. Welp. Let's just go fight the damn boss. You may 
made it through the trap. Well done. It wasn't just luck that let you defeat Tempest. Why do you do such terrible things? I don't know. If you kill me, I'll lose control over the raptors. Wanna try? So the second boss of the game is Tyrant. And now that we have the decoy sub-weapon, he's a huge pussy. You can just use the decoy anytime he locks onto you, and his attack will completely miss. And he sits very still, and you can just throw a whole lot of burst attacks at him. And it, you can just chip off huge chunks of his health. I need to get serious with you. Oh, second four. Well, now he just tries to ram you. But as long as you're bursting, he'll never have any chance to hit you. Although you do have to wait for him to charge like three times before you can actually hit him. When he's charging, uh, that field protects him from any damage. Again, he has a couple other attacks. Fires lasers. He'll also shoot uh, homing missiles at you. Again, just use a decoy. He'll also fire... Um, he, I don't think he even gets to use it in this video, but he also fires probes that will hold you in place and give him a chance to ram you. Again, just use a decoy, and you will completely avoid the attack. So even though we're all, we're incredibly close to the end of the game, uh, there's still several bosses left. They kept almost all the bosses for the end of the game. Go! They have stopped attacking the colony. That destroyed target below us must have been controlling the pilotless raptors flying over the colony. So we saved the colony? As far as this area here, everything has been saved. You mean the enemy is still around? Naturally. Won't you tell me to destroy it this time? If I did, would you do it? No. I can understand the principle of your trying to spare human life. It is illogical, but I cannot help that. A message from the Atlantis has been received. This is Atlantis. Is that you, Leo? Huh? Yeah. I have just contacted the person you will give that orbital frame to. His name is Thunderheart, one of our colleagues. I'll put you through to him. Testing, testing. Leo, this is Thunderheart. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What? He's just a kid. What? Elaine, are you really sure this kid can replace Alan? How the hell do I know? I'm sure he can. And, Thunder, report on conditions. Sure. Listen, Leo. After Barham attacked Antilia, they declared a state of emergency and closed every single route to the spaceport. Barham forces are also on their guard, so it'll be a difficult mission for you. So, we will put Jehuti into the linear driver that connects the central part of the spaceport with the outside ring of the colony. The entrance is near the warehouse, which is under the mountainous area. You'll have to get there on your own. But how? There's supposed to be a dam at the end of the block where you are now. Under that dam, there should be a warehouse area for carrying out Metatron. We will meet there. I expect some fighting getting through, but as far as I know, that's the safest route. More fighting? Do you mean I have to do it all again? Of course. What are you in? It's a fighting orbital frame, isn't it? I'm not like you guys. Don't think that I'm a killer just like you. What? I only came here because I was told to give this to you. So hurry up. Come and get it. I've had enough of this. Leo. Elena, I can't understand you either. People will be killed, you understand? Me and Selvis, we all might be killed over this. We all know that story. No, you don't. That's why Alan, one of your colleagues, had to die. You don't give a damn about those who die. 
You think it goes with the territory? That's enough, you little twerp. Alan was... Alan was Elena's boyfriend, and my best friend. Of course we miss him. What? I don't care if you're a boy or a complete stranger. You have no idea how important your task is, do you? But you're the only person who can operate the orbital frame now. I'm nearing the warehouse area. Just meet me there. I'll listen to your sob story then. Just get there first. Leo. I understand you're at a loss after being dragged into all of this. But we need you to help us a little more. Please. Okay. I'll go. That's what you want, isn't it? What? I'll go to the warehouse. Is that what you want me to do? Yes. Thank you. Sorry about what I said earlier. I mean, what I said about Alan. <sighs> Never mind. I was ready for this. See you. The mountaintop in front of us is the dam, our destination. What was that? I spot a flying orbital frame near the top of the mountain. It appears to be armed with particle projection cannon. To approach the dam from the air is almost suicide. There's nowhere to hide. Then what should I do? There is a rainwater gully, like a riverbed, on the slope of the mountain. I suggest you fly low along the gully up to the top of the mountain. Fly low along the gully. I see. 